during Iris's personality test, we started with social attraction, where we place the puppy away from the tester about four feet and see if she will come to them. She scored a B, came readily with her tail up, her pod licked hands. Number two was testing on following. Will the puppy follow the tester? The puppy came, she followed readily, tail up. So Iris scored a C on that test. Number three, we test restraint. So the tester places the puppy on her back and then she holds her there for about 15 seconds. So when we did that, she did not struggle. She might have been tired is the notation that we have on her test. Social dominance, we sit next to the puppy and let the puppy interact with the tester. So during that, she scored an A. She jumped, pawed, mouthed. Number five, social dominance. So you pick the puppy up and make eye contact. She scored a C. She makes eye contact briefly and looks away. Number six, play drive. So you toss a ball or a folded paper and you try to get the puppy to play with it. Now the tester is the one that does this. So the puppy, she responded with an A on this one. She chased the object, picked it up, and ran away. Number seven, sight sensitivity. So you drag a rope while the tester drags the rope in front of the puppy. Iris scored an A. She looked at the rope, attacked, and bit the object. Number eight, stability. So you pop open an umbrella and place it on the ground in front of her. She scored a C, looked and went to investigate, is what she did, which scored her a C. All right, number nine, response to sound sensitivity. So the tester took a pot and a spoon and banged them together to make a loud, unexpected noise. She scored a C, so she listened, located the sound, and showed curiosity. Number 10 is the last one. It's called the pain tolerance test. So what you do is you grab the webbing between the paws and slowly apply pressure until the puppy responds, but you stop no longer than 10 seconds. So any reaction at all and you stop. She scored an A, so we counted all the way to 10 before we even got a response. So the observer's note on Iris's test was that she was nervous at first, she acted tired, didn't want to get off the tester's lap, she was very loving, she was licking hands, she was playful. While she did score more A's than anything else, she did get her score brought down one point to compensate for the lower score results that she also got, which resulted in her getting a B as her ultimate score. So only time will tell as her personality continues to develop which direction she will go. I will notate that this test was done when she was 49 days old. There is more information on our puppy personality tests um, um, in the article that I have linked to um, her profile page. Feel free to also reach out to me if you have any questions regarding her personality score. Um, I also conducted a social outing assessment with her where it was basically a one-on-one -on -one outing. We take her into the public and we see how she responds um, in a new environment with strangers. I'm looking for confidence. A confident dog is a lot easier to train and they're a lot safer to be around because they don't have what's called fearful aggression. So confidence is a thing that we're really looking for and how she handles new things. So when she went on her assessment, she was still in her fear stage, which was between 8 to 12 weeks old. So that needs to be put into consideration with her responses because no matter how confident her level is, because she's in her fear stage, she's naturally going to respond a little bit more on the timid side. That being said, she was friendly with um, strangers. She was a little bit cautious, but she didn't show fearfulness, she just showed concern that she didn't want to be in trouble so much. I, I do plan on conducting another social outing assessment with her now that she's out of her fear stage um, to see how she's progressed, but my overall assessment on that first social outing was that she, she was a little bit shy, but not overly so.
Um, again, which leaves me curious to see how she's developed since then.